Hi, I am Brandon. And I am Dre. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. Please subscribe and click the bell icon. And don't forget to like and comment on this video. Thanks for watching this video. Salamat sa panunod ang video na ito. After spending 10 glorious days together in Mindanao, Brandon had to go back home to Oregon. We were both sad. Brandon promised that we'll be back soon. In less than two months, we called him twice to see each other again. As soon as Brandon got back to the US, started working day and night, it worried me because Brandon would work 12 to 16 hours a day, he is always on the road, but he always mad certain to take time to call me every day. I was working hard, and working 4 gig type jobs. But I was determined to keep my promise and return to see Dre again soon. I was doing courier delivery, grocery shopping and delivery services, and being a sales representative, and merchandising auditor. It was exhausting, in my time off I was getting ready for our next trip. I planned to stay with Dre in the Philippines until his interview so we could return to the US together. It was quite the blow when I found out the nearest Philippines consulate was more than 13 hours away in San Diego, in most cases I'd have to go there to get a visa for the Philippines. Brandon didn't need a visa for the first time he visited the way he is planning to stay more than 30 days at as required. Brandon ended up finding a passport visa service for tourist travelers through his travel agent friend. Both of us were relieved Brandon wouldn't have to bear the cost of a trip to San Diego just to get his visa. I immediately called them. Their prices were relatively reasonable, and they took care of everything. They even had express services. Which by this point, that's what we needed with only three weeks till my departure. Brandon just had to fill out their paperwork, pay the fees and send team team passport, CBTI visas did a greeting for Brandon, including going to the Philippines consulate on him behalf being Brandon's registered agent. I was still short on cash, and I didn't plan on coming back for three to six months or more. Besides, Dre and I were going to move to Las Vegas once we came back together. Because of the large Filipino community, I started selling everything I own. Figuring we could start out fresh. I even tried selling my car. I did it. In just two months I made all the money I needed to support us for up to six months. The visa company Brandon Herod even had a on time warranty. He took care of the delivery of Brandon's passport with the visa inside it. It came right on time. Just two days before my flight I had my visa and flight tickets in hand. It was finally time to head back to the Philippines to be with Dre. I was so proud of myself that I had achieved every goal so quickly. Oh, we were both yeah. so excited to see each other again. Oh.